uh, we, are, we are here because um, Ella had um, suffered a severe hypoxic ischemic insult um, at birth. She, she was a, a term baby and um, she um, um, had to be brought back, back to life when delivered and um, she um, then suffered um, seizures for the first 24 to 36 hours of life and she was put on to uh, drugs like uh, clomazepam, phenotonin, phenobarbitone um, to uh, sedate her and stop the seizures. She was then, she um, had a CT scan after 10 days and she showed a uh, right sided bleed. She also um, had an MRI scan following that which, um, which concluded uh, that it was a severe um, hypoxic ischemic insult, uh, which was grade three out of three. Um, it also um, uh, concluded that there was no problems with Ella before, before the actual birth, so it was injury at birth. Right now she's nine months old. Um, she, uh, uh, just to summarise her, her symptoms when she was born, um, was that she had very high tone in her lower body and low tone in her upper body since um, she's been undergoing all the physiotherapy that we've been doing since she was one month old she now has high tone in her upper body and low tone in her lower body so she's very stiff when it comes to her, um, um, her moving her arms and her shoulders um, her right arm being a lot worse than her left arm um, she also uh, finds it very hard to um, uh, kind of uh, concentrate and focus on you know holding objects because the, she f she finds it very hard to basically control her tone. Really, she can't sit unaided. She can't roll by herself, and um, she finds it very difficult to control her tone. She has dystonic atherosclerosis, which means that her tone fluctuates between very high and very low, and she can't regulate it at a normal um, tone. In the, in the same way that she can't regulate her tone, she also has problems regulating her emotions and her arousal levels are quite... Um, she's sort of oversensitive to things like light and noise and emotional stimulation and once her arousal levels are up here it's quite hard to bring her down but it's a lot better than it used to be. It used to be once she got upset she'd be screaming for an hour and now it's a matter of minutes and um, recently she's started to self-soothe with hands and mouth or dummies which has been great. The first, the first thing that we saw was after probably the, um, I think it was the first, first but the first treatment, um, her appetite uh, increased immensely. Uh, she went from having um, uh, a few mouthfuls of her bowl of food and to the whole bowl and um, um, she probably had about two and a half times the amount of milk that she normally has. After about the uh, third, third treatment she started to roll in, 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 in her bed um, from her back to her right hand side um, and she would do it quite regularly in the mornings and uh, during the night. Um, uh, she would lift up her arms and get, get into a rolling position and then uh, turn to her right, uh, roll to her right hand side and then roll back. And then um, after about the fourth treatment, uh, one morning we woke up and she had uh, rolled onto her stomach which is um, it's the, actually the only time we've ever seen it and we haven't seen it since. Um, but she has, since uh, she first started rolling, started to sleep on her side. Also in bed, um, she never used to sleep through and we think maybe because she couldn't kind of make herself comfortable if she woke up in the night, whereas now she feels a lot more secure in herself to be able to fall back asleep again. And she's just that bit more secure to sleep through the night. Her, her core strength has um, got um, a lot better. Um, she's now in her physiotherapy sessions she's able to um, stand assisted uh, without crying which uh, she wouldn't have been able to do beforehand and also her, um, I believe 
that her general flexibility has, has improved. She's also achieving a lot more in physiotherapy than, at a faster rate than she's ever done before and can now do assisted standing. And um, She can't crawl but she's, we're doing hand over hand and getting her to push herself along a bit. Her tone has um, reduced, especially in the upper body where it was worse and especially in the right arm which was even worse. Um, she's um, more sort of flexible and looser as a result and sort of a bit more active and kicking around a bit more. Um, it's quite similar to um, a type of therapy that we have done um, b um, back in Europe. But um, I'd say that we're doing the same amount here as we're doing at home, which is uh, approximately five one-hour sessions a week. Um, but I, I think that she's progressing faster here, so we have to attribute that to the stem cells rather than the intensity of the physiotherapy. I mean, things like this, I can do so much more easily than I would ever really be able to do before. I mean, I could have done that before, but it would have been much more stiff. Um, and her hands open a lot more easily than they did before. <laughs> <laughs> we've now come for the uh, second, we've just finished the second treatment and we've seen further improvements already. Uh, her core has strengthened again, she has uh, more coordination in terms of her leg movements. Ella's specialists have also uh, noticed a uh, a lot of improvements. Uh, they were skeptical before she went away and over the three to six months they've noticed some remarkable improvements and they have written that in reports. Hand, her hand movements have improved as well. Beforehand she had she had improved her right hand, right arm movement from the previous treatment but after this set of treatments her, she has um, more dexterity in her right hand and she started to hold objects which she hadn't done beforehand. Was before she used to, if we gave her an object to hold in her right hand, she would automatically move it to her left hand. Um, but now she passes objects to and from both hands, which is a remarkable improvement. We've also put her into a walker this past week and she's managed to walk and run at times. Even though you're not expecting to see anything while you're here, you're really expecting to see it when you get home. But to see it when you're here is, is very exciting. <coughs>